Hey, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today we're going to be talking about the new Smart Money ABC indicator from David Tech and how to set it up in TradeLab. I've already created a pre made strategy for us to copy, so all we have to do is go to Community Strategies on the left side, and then we'll scroll down pretty much towards the bottom and we'll see Smart Money ABC. Uh, you can see that it says long here, but this is actually a combo template. So this will trade long and short, and this is actually going to change uh, back and forth depending on what alerts it hears. So we're going to click copy on this and hit yes. This will copy it over to our My Strategy screen, and we can see it right here. So I'll click edit to open it up. This will start the strategy builder, and it'll kick off the strategy setup. It'll tell us that we have two steps to set up our alerts. So we'll click do it now. First thing it'll ask us is to set up our exchange. If you haven't set one up, you can do that in the settings. I'll select it here and then I'll select a symbol. I'll select link today and we'll click continue. Then it's gonna ask us to set up our alerts. We need to set up two alerts. So we'll click on the first one and read the instructions. It says, create a trading view alert and use the settings below. So if we hop over to trading view, here we can see that I have my smart money uh, indicator uh, set up. It's on my chart ready to go. So I'll go to my alerts and I'll click create alert. And we can see that it says condition here at the top. So if we go back to trade lab, we can see under condition, it says in the dropdown, select ABC Smart Money and then select the rocket ship. Paste the webhook in the message below. So if we click on Trading View and we go over to Smarter Money, we can click the second dropdown and there's the rocket ship. So we click on the rocket ship, we're good to go. So if we go back, it says options once per bar. So we'll click on once per bar right here. And then for the expiration time, make this open-ended if you can. Uh, if you don't have a uh, uh, top paid, uh, if you don't have the highest paid TradingView account, then you'll have to set up an expiration date. Uh, you can set this up for, I think, a month out or something like that. If, uh, you, if you do that, you'll have to come back and extend this. So every month or so, you'll have to come back and make it longer. You can make a notification on your phone, like set an alert or something. Um, if this does expire, your alert will turn off. It won't send any information to Trade Lab, and then your bot won't work. So kind of important to keep up with the expiration time. Uh, to use the webhook URL, we just click on this right here and it'll copy it. We go over here and paste that in for the webhook URL. We can do the same thing for the name, paste that in. You can actually name this whatever you want. I just set up a name for you there to make it easy. And then we'll also do the same thing with the message. So there's my message there. All right, and now that that's done, we'll click create. That'll go ahead and create us the alert. And we should see it over here on the right side. There it is, ABC Smart Money Long. So we'll go back to Trade Lab. We'll click back. And then we'll click on this last one here. And in here, it says to do the same thing, select the ABC Smart Money. But now it says select the bear icon. So if we go back to Trade Lab, or Trading View rather, we create another alert. We select the smarter money and we have the bear icon now. Uh, the options say once per bar again. And we'll go ahead and grab our webhook URL, paste that in. We'll grab our name, we'll paste that in, and we'll grab our message and paste it in. Go ahead and hit create. And now we've created the long and short uh, alerts. If we go back to Trade Lab and hit back, we can now hit all done. And we're ready to set up our trade. So now we need to discuss how much we want to trade. If we look at our amount, we can see that I'm trading $50, 50 USD. We can see our estimated margin size is $50. Um, and that would net us about 7.7 .7 link at the price of $6.48. So if I wanted to use my account and say do a percentage, 
I could select a, say, 5% of my balance. I can select 5% of my balance, and that would give me an estimated margin size of 305 and netting me uh, 47 link with one leverage. Now, if I wanted to uh, make my leverage two times, we can see that that goes up to 95 link and my margin size uh, stays the same. Okay, so now what we can do is go to uh, market type. <clears throat> so now let's discuss order type. So the order type, uh, market or limit, um, you, so now, let's, so now let's discuss order type. Order type can either be market or limit. Um, if you select limit, we'll have to look at time and force. So time and force can either be immediate or cancel, good till cancel, or uh, fill or kill. We can also do post only. So normally you want to set this to limit and you'll say good till cancel, and that'll keep it open. The problem is we want to make it close eventually, timeout, if it doesn't get filled. So if we go down into advanced settings, we can see limit timeout. This is hours, minutes, and seconds. So right now, by default, I have it set up to uh, timeout in one minute. Um, and you can also do a limit offset. So if you wanted to offset your limit order to give you a certain buffer, negative or positive, you could do that uh, over here as well, either by percentage or USD amount um whatever you need okay so this is all set up to do uh break even um it's going to if we look here it's going to put one uh take profit at uh, 1.8 percent and it's going to take 50 percent and then uh we're going to move our sl it's going to start at negative uh, 0.9 percent and we're going to move it up to uh, 0.2 negative percent. Um, and then it's going to start trailing at 2%. So the idea is it's a two to one risk ratio, right? So um, we're going to be making twice as much as we're risking. Once we hit that amount, we take 50% out of the position and we set our uh, take profit, or sorry, we set our stop loss to be trailing. Uh, to start trailing at 2% below uh, where we currently are. Okay, so that's how this works. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to hop in our Discord. Uh, all you should need to do at this point is just hit save and exit, and you can see that our smart money is ready to go. It's looking for entry. Uh, it's searching, and we are ready. If you have any more questions, uh, hop in our Discord or click the help button at the bottom right of any page. You can uh, ask your questions here or you can create a support ticket to talk to us directly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates and have a good day.